Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Medway. Today I have the pleasure of looking at this charming barge. Um, we'll have a jolly good look around. You'll be able to see still photographs and information on www.boatshedmedway.com um, and if you do want to have a look uh, you'll be able to find our contact details on there too. So, um, we step aboard and We've got this fabulous wheelhouse. Um, the current marina she's on enjoys nice views of the River Medway. She's close to Rochester, Rochester Castle and Cathedral and Town Centre. So there's a good communication network. So let's have a look here. We've got a very tastefully done out kitchen here you'll be able to see from the general write-up etc all the different white goods there's a dishwasher there a fridge here a freezer there lovely work surfaces and what a view all the time you've got it will never be dismal in here panoramic views all the way around and work surface you've got certainly a lot more work surface than you'd have in any quite large house in actual fact if you have a look around all very nicely colour coordinated you've got your little breakfast bar area here as well all very clever this um, cabinet will actually roll out and um, this is where the wheel would actually be for the vessel so we have got central heating throughout I believe and one thing that really does impress me here is this lovely staircase so easy to get downstairs and also nice and wide for if you're moving things around so the great thing about the main saloon area here are the skylights which allow the light to flood through and you've also got windows both to port and starboard so you've got a really charming feel in this main saloon area I love the wood on the floors as well headlinings are very attractive too I believe that this vessel used to be a book shop on um, the River Thames uh, I believe she was in Greenwich so and I think this is one of the original features as is the bench seat there as well so we've got a nice little dining area here um, you could opt to put seats this side if you wanted to as well there would actually be the room a little bit of understairs storage But just get the feel for the character and how magical um, this barge is so cozy you would never feel alone in here now here is the second bedroom which has been very cleverly thought out um, you have got storage here you've got another skylight allowing the, uh, the light to flood through which is very nice little bit rustic and here we have space here for a double bed so all those little areas there little cubby holes for bits and pieces that you might wish to store back into the main saloon again and we are walking forward in the vessel that's a storage cupboard here radiators to make sure you keep nice and warm in winter again plenty of light very cleverly there's a little washing line up there so you've got somewhere as well to hang your washing a few pegs there for a little cloaks area so here we come to the main bedroom and this has got some really interesting features in it lots of storage space as well again plenty of light 
and there's a skylight up there too. Quite an unusual dresser there. <laughs> and we have a bath in here. There is um, quite a large tank on this bait and um, immersion etc as well. So as you can see it's a really really nice setup. Quite unique. So for those of you that like something a little bit interesting and unusual this is definitely a barge to think about. Please do note that um, you cannot get mortgages for barges in the same way as you can for houses. You need a lot more capital up front. Um, this vessel hasn't had a survey for a while so um, if anybody needs to get a survey and whatnot you've got to consider those things too. Here we have a walk-in shower. It's kind of essentially like a wet room and there's your shower there. Again here we have an area with a porthole so you've got some natural light and ventilation going on. Got our sink here and obviously toilets and a nice little radiator. Full of character again. Another little area for letting in light there too. Cupboards, more cupboard space. I think there's a tank behind there. If you'd like to see this wonderful barge, then please do get in touch. Um, I believe the mooring could actually be transferred. Uh, it is rented mooring, obviously, so subject to the marina's um, agreement. The next person may well be interested, given she has a residential mooring um, that is rented and that will be um, available to the next owner at the marina. If you'd like to view this beautiful vessel, then please don't hesitate to contact us via www.boatshedmedway um, or you can email us at boats at boatshedmedway.com Thank you for watching.